In Spain, nobody has a dryer. Nobody uses a dryer. They all dry their clothes by hanging them out, like on clotheslines, which is actually a very peaceful and meditative practice. It's all good. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I made a video, so I thought I'd just share with y'all what's been going on in my life. So back in September, I moved here to Spain to teach English as part of the Auxiliares de Conversación program. And I currently live in an apartment in Armilla, Spain, which is right near Granada in Andalusia, so the south of Spain. And I share the apartment with my brother Connor. Here's a little look at the living room, my guitar, and our balcony. It's pretty nice. We've been here for about eight months, and I just wanted to make this video to showcase what a typical day is like here in Spain, for me at least. And if you have any questions about living abroad, cultural differences, or the specific program I'm in, let me know in the comments below. And welcome back. The first thing I do each morning is drink a bottle of water. Good morning. So on Thursdays, my classes begin at 10.15 and I have biology and then English, English, and English. I was asked to work on the mural so me and a couple students are going to work on this mural that the school has been painting. Here's what it looks like so far. I don't know if you can read it. It says, nature in our hands. free period, I like to work on writing, recording, and learning to produce my own music. And recently, a producer from Germany named Indira made a cover of my song Back to Her and posted it to Instagram. And I listened to it and I absolutely loved it. Here's a snippet of what it sounds like. I try to look away so you can see how much I've learned to love the idea of you and me. So right after I'm done with my program here, I'm actually going to head to Germany to produce this song with Indira. So that's where I'll be headed right after this. A little longer than a few minutes later. It's 2.30 and class is over. Oh my Lord. I am on my way to the gym. every workout, arms, legs, abs, I always stretch because I really want to get my splits. And I want to get my splits before I go back home to the US. So I'm, I'm really, really close, really, really close. This is me post-workout. As you can see, I'm red as a frickin' tomato. 
and it's time to take a shower. So after the gym, I head back to the apartment to cook lunch for Connor and myself. And then later today, I have an art class, which I signed up for a while ago. And I really enjoy it. And I'll show you all what I've been working on. Also, my art teacher is the sweetest man. His name is Gustavo and he's agreed to let me film inside the art studio. So for today's meal, I'm going to make some quesadillas, some rice, some veggies, and some chili con carne. I'm gonna show you my secret ingredient. Boom. Tortilla de patata con cebolla. Tortilla de patata is one of my all-time favorite dishes now. It's basically, it's like a quiche, but better. It's a mixture of potatoes and eggs and onion. I always get the one with onion, con cebolla. Sin cebolla, no vale la pena. Whenever I'm cooking rice, I like to chop this up into little cubes and sprinkle it in. It's so good. When I go back to the US, I'm gonna have to find a store that sells tortilla de patata because I can't live without it, so. So I am on my way to art class and I'll introduce you to my teacher, Gustavo. Gustavo, cuéntanos un poco sobre ti. Bueno, pues yo soy profesor de pintura desde hace ya 15 años. Estamos en el taller municipal de pintura de Almilla y estoy encantado de tener a Shannon, que es una artista épica, Gracias. pintando con nosotros. So it's nine o'clock and Connor's not here, so I'm going to take myself out to a restaurant for dinner. And I know it may sound weird to start dinner plans at nine, but that's pretty normal here. Dinner's generally between nine and 10.30. In fact, it's very hard to find a restaurant that's open before about seven. And I'm gonna go to one of my favorite tapas place. Tapas are something that are very special to Granada. Essentially, when you order an alcoholic beverage, you get a free plate of food with that beverage. And that doesn't happen everywhere in Spain, but that does happen here. And I'll show you a little bit of the town I live in on my way to dinner. So right up here, we have the Mercadona, which is where Connor and I buy all of our groceries. You have to be careful though, because like a lot of shops in Spain, it always closes on Sundays. Mercadona. Something that I think is so cool about this town are all the orange trees. Like just all of the orange trees lining the streets. It's so cool and so aesthetically pleasing. So we are now at one of my favorite places in all of Armilla. I'll show you guys, this is it. This is Nevada. It is a ginormous shopping center. It's absolutely huge, the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. And I like to come here to just de-stress sometimes after a long day and people watch. So my alcoholic beverage of choice is generally a tinto de verano and today's tapas were bolas de bacalao, which in English are fried cod fish balls and then some olives. I'm not a huge fan of olives, but the bolas de bacalao were exquisite. Something to be aware of is that unlike in the US, you don't automatically get a glass of water with your food. 
So if you want water, you have to specifically ask for un vaso de agua and not a bottle of water or you'll have to pay extra. Just a little tip. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right I've spent a lot of time here in Spain, kind of on my own, and it's been very, very nice. <laughs> I think so many of us are afraid of being on our own, that we forget how fun it can actually be. I don't know, I'm very grateful to be alive when I walk down this little path. Before I sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh my gosh, I found my earphones No, I was looking for these I hope they still work Damn, okay I thought my little brother had stolen them He didn't, I'm sorry Dennis So today was the first day that the students saw me without my mask and I was told by one of them that I have under eye bags, ojeras, which I need to take care of. But I did get a compliment. A different student said that I looked better without the mask, which I guess is better than the alternative. Oh, well you know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for 